Hi, my name is Scott Dillon. I am the head of school at Westminster Catawba Christian School in Rock Hill, South Carolina. And uh, I've had some experience uh, partnering with Samaritan's Feet in the past, have done so um, in, in a number of opportunities, a number of places. But this past school year, this past summer, I had an opportunity to, to talk with Manny Yahomi and to talk about um, possibly having our school pilot a program where we looked at partnering with Samaritan's Feet and trying to get the whole school involved. And so we were excited to do it. One of the reasons I was so excited about this is that we as a school are looking at our, our, our mission statement. We exist to educate students to bless our world as disciples of Christ. And given that, we want to, it's, we've got to be an outward looking uh, community. So we, we went all in. We had our faculty serve during our in-service at the beginning of the school year in August. Our faculty um, went to their warehouse and served and uh, did as we needed. There were about 60 of us and it was a great service day, a great day to spend together as we kick off the school year. Uh, we spent the month of September um, getting ready for what Samaritan's Feet uh, calls a step challenge and, and we were gonna be doing it with some of our kids but we did it with our teachers first. And so our teachers and actually our board members, we took part in their step challenge and so our faculty and staff kept track of our steps for the month of September and set some goals and were able to meet those goals because we've got some very active teachers, that was exciting. And then that led to uh, month of October, we had our elementary kids, kindergarten through fifth grade. They wore step counters while they were at school and so they counted their steps and we integrated into the curriculum, integrated into what we were doing as a school where the, the teachers worked with the kids, helping them count steps with the littlest kids, helping them learn to count and with the bigger ones, letting them see what taking that many steps would look like if they didn't have shoes. It was a great opportunity to kind of just get them, be, make them aware of how many steps they were taking. We also, in those classes, um, told the kids about the fact that there are kids their age, uh, not far from where we live, that don't have shoes. And so we asked them, the kids, to bring in their pennies, nickels, and dimes, not, not parents' money, but their own money, to help raise some funds. And we raised several hundred dollars from the kids in our elementary school that way. It was a great, a great joy. In November, we had a middle school, our middle schoolers put on a shoe drive where we collected shoes. And that was a, a good opportunity to get them involved. And, and uh, as is always the case, some just really owned it and loved it and look forward to, to being a part of that. We even had a few of our middle school classes go and serve in that same Samaritan's Feet warehouse. In December, uh, early December, we had a high school badminton tournament. That was a lot of fun, very competitive. My team lost, but it was a great opportunity. The entry fee to get into this badminton tournament was a pair of shoes. And so uh, we had everybody paired up, had 30 or 35 different um, different teams of two to play in this tournament and had a ton of parents there to watch and the entry fee to, to a watch was a pair of shoes so we brought in some shoes that way too. Um, finished out the year right before Christmas with a spirit night at a local restaurant. One of the parents in our school wanted to help and wanted to be a part and so this, this parent who owns a restaurant asked if we could do a spirit night for Samaritan's Feet and so we did and raised, raised a few dollars that way. It really has include, enabled us to include our whole school from the kindergartners all the way up to the 12th graders, our faculty and our families. Uh, we're looking at some more events this spring and, and hope to do a shoe distribution later this spring, but that's how we got involved.